Okay, so we're asked to express cos 3x in terms of cos x. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we say this is the cosine of 2x plus x. And we expand this. We let the 2x be, say, a and the x be b. So we've got the cosine of a plus b. And we're told that the cosine of a plus b then is identical to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. And we can use this identity. All right, so if we know that, then we can substitute in here for our a's and b's. So we've got cosine of 2x for cos a, then cos b becomes cos x. And then we would have minus sine of a, which is 2x, sine of b, which is sine x. All right? Now, cosine of 2x, we should know, is the same as 2 cos squared x minus 1. So that gets that in terms of cos x. And then we've got this cos x on the end. Now, for sine 2x, we should know that that is 2 sine x cos x. Remember the identity for sine 2a? Sine 2a, 2 sine a cos a. So that means that if a is x, we've got 2 sine x cos x. And then we've got that sine x on the end. So if we expand the bracket here, we've got... 2 cos cubed x minus cos x. And if we take this term here, we've got sine x times sine x, so that's 2 sine squared x. And then we've got the cos x. Now, sine squared x, we should know, is 1 minus cos squared x. So when I get to that term, what I need to do now is replace this with 1 minus cos squared x. Then don't forget we've got that cos x on the end there. So just write out the first two terms again. Minus the cos x there. Now I'm going to expand this bracket. We've got minus 2 cos x times the 1. So that's minus 2 cos x. And we've got minus 2 cos x times minus cos squared x. That's going to be plus 2 cos cubed x. So what is this identical to? Well, we've got a total of 4 cos cubed x. So I put that in, 4 cos cubed x. And then we've got minus cos x minus another 2 cos x. That's minus 3 cos x. And there you have cos 3x then expressed in terms of cos x. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this first part.